What is up guys, Stark here, I am back for another Fate video, and in today's video, we're going to be doing the calendar for February 2021. So February is going to be a pretty interesting month, we're going to get like a ton of different events back to back to back to back, there's not going to be much time to rest, and there's so many different banners, there's so many different servants rated up, uh, <laughs> there's really just a lot to get through, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, get right into it really no time to waste here with this one so on the first of february we do have the leftover of the Ilya event or chloe's event uh so there's gonna be a few days of that to round off that banner so you're gonna have all the characters rated up so you'll have Ilya, queen meave miu medea lily nursery rhyme and helena they'll all be rated up on the same day same banner and this will be for the 1st of February, this will also be for the 2nd of February. So, this will be your last opportunity to pick up any of those characters that you want to get. And, for those of you who do not have Miu, this is the only time you'll have a chance to get Miu. So, you know, if you are interested in trying to get her, then this is the last chance you have to do that. On February 3rd, we do have the new Valentine's Day event coming out. And I believe this was just confirmed a few minutes ago as of the recording of this video. Uh, and this is going to introduce a new 5-star caster, Murasaki. So, as in tradition with most Valentine's Day events, Murasaki is going to be coming out and she'll be rated up with a whole bunch of different female servants. So each different day there'll be a different female servant rated up on two separate banners and you know, you'll just have a good opportunity to pick up a ton of those characters. But to start with, we're going to have Murasaki rated up as a solo rate up for February 3rd, February 4th, and then for February 5th, we're going to start the rate up with um, other female characters. So they'll be split up into two different banners. So Murasaki will be rated up with both of the characters. So you'll have one banner rated up with Murasaki and Altera, and then one banner with Murasaki and Nightingale. And it'll do the same thing every day throughout the course of this event with alternating female servants. So on the 6th you have Orion and Queen Meave. On the 7th you have Artoria, Pendragon, Lancer, and Sanzang. On the 8th you have Quetzalcoatl and Jack. On the 9th you have Anastasia and Joan of Arc. On the 10th you have Osaka Bihime and Mordred. And we're also going to get last year's Valentine Day event rerun. So you'll have Semi Ramis rated up for the duration of the event. Uh, she's rated up every single day. She's rated up by herself and she'll be out for two weeks. So from the 10th until the 24th, she'll be rated up on every day. On the 11th, you have Satonai and Drake rated up. And on the 12th, you have Artoria Pendragon and Tamamo no Mai. And then on the 13th, you have Bradamante and the Caster of the Nightless City rated up. And then, on the 14th, Murasaki will be rated up again by herself to close out the event with a couple days of solo rate-ups. So, the 14th, the 15th, the 16th will all be solo rate-ups for Murasaki. And of course, Semiramis will still be there as well in a separate banner. And the 16th will be the final day for Murasaki. So, for the 17th, we still have Semiramis rated up for another week, and we are going to get a new banner. This will be the return of the CCC event, which will have the 4-star Moon Cancer BB as the Welfare Servant. And for her banner, she'll come back with a whole bunch of different other servants. So, you'll have Melt rated up, you'll have Passion Lift rated up, Suzuka goes and rated up, and Emiya Alter rated up. And these will all alternate on different days. You also do have Robin Hood rated up. I believe Robin Hood is featured as a rate up servant on all of the days. Uh, but he's not included here. So the 18th will be the same. You'll have Melt, Passion Lip, and Suzuka Gozen rated up. And then on the 19th, Suzuka Gozen falls off. And you just have Passion Lip and Melt as your featured servants. The 20th will be the same. And then on the 21st, Passion Lip is replaced with Suzuka Gozen. And this will be the same for the 22nd. So for the 23rd, all four of the characters will be rated up. And then this will also be the same for the 24th. And this will be the final day for you to get Semi Ramis if that is what you were looking to do. You do also have King Protea's banner starting at the nighttime there for uh, the 24th. Now I don't have those characters included because it's going to roll over into the 25th. So we're going to start with the 25th. Even though I have King Protea on the 24th as the rated up, 
Um, this is probably going to be very late at night, so technically it starts on the 24th, but we're just going to go ahead and assume it starts on the 25th. Maybe there's maintenance or something like that. That extends it and pushes it over to the next day. But regardless, you have a new banner coming out, so you'll have King Protea, who is going to be a new 5-star Alter Ego. Then you have Gawain and Tristan rated up on this banner. And the two of them will alternate throughout the days. The 26th, Suzuka goes in and Demia fall off of their banner. And then you still have the same three rated up for King Protea's banner. And on the 27th, you have Passion Lip switching out with Suzuka goes in. And then you have Tristan falling off his banner. And it is just Gawain. And then finally, on the 28th of February, you have Suzuka goes in switching out for Demia. And King Protea's banner stays the same. So all in all, there's a lot of different servants rated up in this month. There's a lot of potential to get, like like I said, a ton of different servants. There's a potential, a potential for that. Um, however, in my opinion, this is a very skippable month. <laughs> there's a ton of servants rated up, but um, next month we have Kama, and I think a lot of people are, are aiming for her as one of the most have servants in 2021. Um, so for me personally, I... I'm probably going to skip on Murasaki. I was going to pull for her on the raid up with um, Drake, but I have since pulled Drake, so I don't really need to worry about that. And I am tempted to pull for Melt, as she's the only one where I might cave in and pull for and uh, try and get Melt. Melt is a fantastic servant, and she's just going to get like another upgrade in the future that will just make her even better. So that's something I might consider doing, um, but I'm skipping King Protea. And Murasaki and I'm just gonna save up for um, Kama next month so yeah guys that is the end of this video I hope you did enjoy it and if you did feel free to like comment and subscribe and as always I do have the links below to my Twitter twitch patreon and discord so feel free to check those out and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>